Hello, family. How you doing? It's your boy, Pastor Dre. Welcome to my live webinar. That's right. We are all the way live. Just get a little something to drink there. But I want to encourage you to get yourself comfortable. It is going to be good stuff. We are going to show you. I'm going to show you how to build a nice website for your church from scratch for free. And I'm going to show you the goal of our website. Our goal is going to be a website like this. Let me load it up. Our goal is going to be a website that looks just like this. That's going to be our goal. That's right. For your church for free from scratch. Are you ready to do it? Are you comfortable? All right. First thing I want you to do is go to my website, pastordre.com. So go ahead and go to pastordre.com. All right. Once you get there, I want you to click right here where it says free website. Click right there. All right. Once you do that, it's going to take you to a page that looks like this. Here is where you're going to decide on your domain name. What a domain name is, is like google.com, yahoo.com, facebook.com. Those are domain names. Uh, the on fire church.com, my church.com, the cool church.com. Those are all domain names. So you could, uh, now here's the thing this is a free website, so it will be on a subdomain. So it won't be like yourchurch.com, it'll be yourchurch.siterubix.com which is for free. Now, if you want to get a paid domain, it's like $15 a year, which comes out to like 250 Rand a year, which is not bad, but I'm going to show you how to do everything for free. All right. So let's go ahead and decide, say I am the radical church. I'll just say that the radical, you can put whatever you want, but just say we are the radical church.com, but it needs to be available. So unfortunately, the radical church .com is unavailable. So I'm going to try, let me see, uh, my church website, maybe. I'm just making up anything to see if it's available. That's not available. Let's try uh, my new website. How about that? My new website .com. Well, wow, that's available. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right. So once again, you can put whatever you want. The on fire church. Uh, maybe you have a rap group. You're called like the Glory Bound Crew, or you know the Radical Rap Group. But it will be the Radical Rap Group. .com. Okay. So whether you got a rap group, a ministry, maybe you oversee a Bible study in your church, and you want to start your own website for your Bible study, that would be rocking. So say your Bible study is called. Uh, the best small group. So you can say the best small group dot site rubrics dot com. OK, but whatever you want to do uh, for your domain name. So go ahead and select that. Make sure it's available. And then I want you to click build my free website. Now, after you click that, it's going to take you to a page. Oh, let me log out here. Sorry about that. Let me log out. Boom. Just so you can show exactly so you can see exactly how the page is going to look. All right. So once you click or you decide on your domain name. Let me go back here again. Boom, free website. And then I think we said my church, my new website, right? Let's try that. My new website, that site, rubrics.com. And then we click build my free website. Okay, so once you click that, it's going to take you to a page that looks like this. What you need to do is enter an email, enter your name, choose a username, and choose a password. Now, the reason it's asking you for this is because this is a community. This is like a Facebook community that teaches you how to build websites, teaches you how to get traffic to your website. It teaches you so much stuff. Now, there's a free membership and there's a paid membership. I'm going to show you how to do everything through the free membership. Now, if you decide to go through the paid membership, it is well worth it. You get like 10 free websites, 10 paid websites that you can host. Uh, you know, some people charge you $200 a month to host a website, maybe like two or three at the most. This one gives you 10 for $49. Not only that, but it gives you 24-7 chat, 
It gives you step-by-step -step videos on how to get traffic to your website, how to build websites. Not only that, every Friday there's a live webinar that teaches you how to get traffic to your website, how to build a website. Uh, so much stuff. Uh, it, it's so much stuff. I don't want to get into that because this is going to show you this webinars to teach you how to build a website, not to promote uh, the service that I have here, but it gives you so much stuff. Okay. So if you do decide to go with the paid thing, $49 a month. And the cool thing is I'm affiliate. So if you sign up, they'll give me a little love, but I'm going to show you how to do everything for free. Okay. So we're going to do the free one. So that's why you have to sign up because it is an online community. So I already have an account. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. All right, let me go ahead and log into my account. And then once you log in and you finish setting up all your details, it's going to give you a page that looks like this. I want you to go ahead and click free domain. And then once again, we found out that my new website is available. So go ahead and type your domain here on this first site. I mean, this first line. Awesome. It's available. You need to make sure yours is available. All right. Then after that, I'm going to call this my, the, let me see. Let's see my new website so that's going to be the title of my website once again you could put your church website you could put your business uh name you could put your small group name ministry name however you want to do it all right then scroll down and i want you to select where it says choose theme you see several because i'm a premium membership i have a premium membership you're only going to have one so go ahead and select choose theme okay and just select the one that's available to you I'm going to choose that same one and we're going to work this website together. All right. So go ahead and click build my website. This is going to be fun. It's going to be fun. We're about to get into the good stuff right now. Okay. So once you click build my free website, it's going to take a few seconds to get everything up and running for you. But here's the cool thing. Once this is done doing what it's doing, your website is live. You don't have to wait a day or two, but your website is going to be all the way live. OK, so let me go ahead and log in to my brand new website. There it is for free. You now have a website. Now, our goal is going to be to build a website that looks like this. Right now, I'm going to visit my website. See where it says visit site? I'm just going to visit that. I'm going to open it up in a new link. This is how my website looks. There it is. That's my brand new website. Come on now. So if you go to my new website, .siterubix.com. It's live on the internet. You can even go visit it in your browser and this is what you'll see. So our goal is to get this to look like this. All right, so here we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this. First thing I want you to do is, let me move this over here. Let me move this over here. All right, let's get going. All right, so first thing, this is called your dashboard. Somebody say dashboard. All right, now, what I want you to do is get used to that term dashboard because that's where a lot of the fun takes place. That's where a lot of your editing takes place. That's where you actually build your website. Okay, so your dashboard is where you update your website and you do all kinds of cool things. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's go, first thing I want you to do, see where it says appearance. I want you to click there and then I want you to click customize. All right. Once you do that, I want you to go ahead and go over here to where it says site identity. Click there. I want you to tick this box here. Make sure that box is ticked and then click publish. OK, so hide site title, hide site tagline. Make sure those boxes are ticked. I want you to go ahead and click the uh, back arrow. Then I want you to go to appearance. I'm sorry, not appearance, settings. I want you to go to settings. And then I want you to go to writing. And I want you to tick block editor. And then I want you to tick yes. Scroll down and click save changes. Okay. All right. So now let's go ahead and refresh. This is our website. I want you to go ahead and refresh it. And there you go. That's what you have. We just did a few behind the scenes things. So we're going to work it. OK, so this is our goal. This is our goal. Sorry about that. Get to a call here. Oops. Go back here. OK, I keep getting the call. <laughs> All right. Sorry about that. All right. So 
Now we're going to go to settings. Okay. And then I want you to go to leading. Let me just check something here. Okay. Leave that like that for now. All right. Okay. Next thing I want you to do is I want you to go to pages. All right. See where it says sample page. Go ahead and trash that. Okay. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to add our one, two, three, four, five, six pages. So let's go ahead and do that. So where it says pages, I want you to click add new. Okay. And then what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and type in, or you could close that. I want you to type in home. H O M E and then click publish and click publish again. Then I want you to click the back arrow. I want you to click add new. Then I want you to type in live webcast. Okay. Then I want you to click publish and publish again. I want you to click this back arrow right here. I want you to click add new. And the next page that we're going to add is I want you to type blog. B L O G. Blog. Click publish. Click publish again. Click the back arrow. I want you to click add new. And then we're going to add our small groups page. So I want you to go ahead and type in small. Groups, and then click publish and click publish again. And then I want you to click the back arrow. I want you to click add new. And then we're going to add a podcast page. So I want you to go ahead and type in podcast and then click publish and publish again. And the last page that we're going to add is called our contact us. So add new. And then I want you to go ahead and type in the words contact us where it says add title. Type in contact us. I want you to click publish. Click publish again. I want you to click the back arrow. Now I want you to click pages. There's all your pages. Okay. Now what I want you to do is I want you to go to appearance. And I want you to click menus. And I want you to go ahead and scroll down. See where it says Home custom link, click here. I'm sorry, leave that there. Home custom link, leave that there. Let me see here. Boom, yeah, leave that there. There's gonna you're gonna have two home pages: home custom link and then home. Delete the regular one, the one that doesn't say custom link. Delete that. Okay, click create menu. All right. After that's done creating, I want you to scroll down and click primary menu and click save menu. Now, here's the cool thing. We're going to go refresh our website. There it is. Here's our pages. See how we added our pages? Pretty cool, huh? All right. So now what I want you to do is I want you to go back. I want you to go to customize. Okay. And then I want let me see something really quick. Site identity. Okay, cool. Boom. Let me go down here. It's real quick. All right. Okay. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn our website. Right now it looks like a blog. So we're going to turn it from a blog to a website. How do you do that? What you want to do is go to where it says settings click there then where it says reading you click there then where it says static page click that circle and i want you to click home then where it says post page i want you to click blog then i want you to click save changes now i want you to go back to your website and click refresh there it is Okay, next thing I want you to do, is I want you to go back to your dashboard. I want you to go to pages. Okay. 
I want you to go where it says home. I want you to click right there where it says edit with block editor. Okay. And what I want you to do is we're going to take out these little things on the side and we're going to take out this word that says this place that says home. So when you do that is I want you to scroll down, see where it says uh, where we at here. Boom, boom, boom. That's layout. Okay, where we at here? Layout, sidebar. Okay, see where it says content container? Wait, where are we at here? Sidebar, layout. Okay, see where it says, oh, they changed, they updated the theme. My goodness. Okay, that's what happened. All right, see where it says sidebar. So there might be a few times I might have to check a few things. They updated their theme. All right, so sidebar layout, click that, and then click, uh, let's see, no sidebars. Let's try that. Yeah, they updated the theme on me. Wow. All right, let's go ahead and click refresh. There you go. Now there's no sidebars. Now we're going to get rid of where it says home. I want you to go back. And let's see here, footer widget. widget. Okay, see where it says disable elements? Click that. And then click update. So now when you click refresh, there it is. You have a blank website. So we're going to change this thing to blue. Come on, this is going to be rocking. We're going to change this to blue because this one's blue right here. We're going to change ours to blue. How do you do that? I got a little excited because they updated the theme. It looks really nice. So we're going to go back. <clears throat> and then I want you to click appear, uh, appearance. Let me think. Yeah, no, no, customize. So we're going to go, yeah, appearance, customize. And then what I want you to do. I want you to go over where it says colors, click that, scroll down, see where it says navigation color presets, click that, and click blue. Woo, there it is. All right, let's click publish. And we're going to change our page layout. Now, if you notice, when I click, when I, I'm going to go here, I'm going to go refresh our page real quick, in case you're wondering where I'm going. See how that doesn't go all the way across, but this one goes all the way across. So, we're going to try to get this to stretch all the way across. What I want you to do is go to pages right there. Go to your home page and click edit with block editor. Okay. Let it load up. And then once it's done loading up, I want you to go where it says content container. Click that. And I want you to click full with it. And then click update. Now let's see what that did to our website. Let's go back to our website and click refresh. All right. Okay. Now I got to figure out how to get this to spread across because they changed the theme on me. So just give me about a minute or so. And let me see if I can work that for you. Customize. Okay. Let's see here. They changed it up on your boy. Okay, let me see home page settings. Nope, leave that. Layout. Container. Okay, that's right. Okay, container. Let's see, I got to figure out how to change it now. Oh, I see that moves out like that. We want it going, I'm going to leave it at 1200. And he got your boy on this one. So let's see. See if I could work it though. Okay, let's leave that to text. Go back here. Let's see. Header maybe? Okay, maybe this is a header alignment center. Enter header width. Let's try full. Header width. Let's try full. Header presets. Uh, let's see. What's classic? Huh. The classic might have worked. Let's see. Let's see. Let me try something real quick. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so here's your settings. Where it says header presets, I want you to go to navigation before. Header width, I want you to go full. Inner header width, I want you to go full. Header alignment, let's center it. Okay? And then you click publish. Now it should go all the way across. So let's go to our website, click refresh. There it is. Come on now. We're getting there. All right. So we got our top 
header or head menu together. What do we need to do next? We need to add this picture here. Let's go back. Took me a little while. There's an update on the theme, so I apologize on that. But we worked it. We worked it. If you have any questions, hit me up. Pastor Dre at PastorDre.com. Pastor Dre at PastorDre.com. All right. So now what I want to do is I want to add this picture here. This here. So what I want you to do is go to your pages and then go to home page and click edit with block editor. Okay. After you do that, what I want you to do is go to the plus right here. And I want you to type in the word cover. C-O-V-E-R. This is going to pop up. You click that. And then I want you to click upload. Now I have an image that's already on my hard drive. So I'm going to go get that image, okay? I'm going to go get the image and I'm going to upload it from my hard drive. So let me go ahead and grab that. Okay, let me see. Where is it at? Boom. I think that's it. Let me see. See if I grab the right one. If not, I'll get the right one. Okay, so I just, what all I'm doing is I clicked upload, then I got an image from my hard drive. Okay, then I'm going to click update. Then I'm going to go over to the website and click refresh. Let's see if I got the right image. It's just taking a little while to load because it's a pretty big image. So it's going to show up now. But I just want to make sure I got the right one. Oops, I got the wrong one. But that one looks pretty nice too, though. That looks really nice. But let's get the right one so that way we don't throw anything off. So I'm going to go ahead and replace this image with the correct one. So let me go back and get it. Oh, man, I got the wrong one again. Hold up. Okay. Uh, let me see. There we go. Okay. So now the image is kind of big. Let me get the right one. Worship background. Okay, let me see if this is the right one here. I got so many images. Let me click update. All right, I think I got the right one now. Let's click refresh. Okay, I think I got, let me see, let me, hold on. Let me just make sure I got the right one here. Make sure we got the right one. All right, so let me go. This is not the right one either. We want to get this image right here so that way it'd be the exact same so i don't throw anybody off so let me replace that okay let me see how to do promotion worship back my worship pick for website okay let me see if this is the correct one let me get a little little time to load up okay this is behind the scenes this is all the way live so uh you, you, you're i'm you know we're working it we're working it so let me hit update let me hit refresh. If this is not the right one, maybe I'll just use this image because I don't know where the other image is. Let's see that one. Let me, let me delete. Let's remove this block. Let me start over. So once again, we go to cover. And we'll put this cover over here. There it is. Okay. Then I'm going to go to upload. And then I'm going to get the image. Let me see. Boom. Let me try to get the right image here. A worship pick for website. Motion image. Let me see. I'm trying to find the right image for you. Because I want it to be the same as this one. I don't want to throw anybody off. <laughs> now that's not the image. Okay. Just give me some time here. Sorry about that. Oh, that one keeps popping up. So we're just we're gonna find it. It might take me about a minute or two, but we're gonna find it. So just bear with me. This is all the way live. So let's update. Okay, that's not it. So let's try the next one. Okay. So that's it. If that's not it, we're gonna try the next one. There it is. My goodness. Which one is that? Okay, so it's worship pick for website. Okay, there it is. We got update. All right, so now if we go to our website, we click refresh. There's our image. 
That was a mission. All right. So there it is. This is our goal website. And this is what we got right now. So how do we put that writing over the image? See how they got writing? How do you do that? See where it says write title? You click there. You could, uh, I think I called mine my new website, right? So I'm going to say my new website. You can put whatever you want. Put your church name, however you want to do it. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to bold it. And then I'm going to click update. You can make it bigger. The way you make it bigger, see over here where it says preset size. You can come over here and make it huge. If you really want to dial it in, you could click these numbers over here like that. So let's make ours about 50. All right. And then you click update. And then you go over here and you click refresh. Oh, that's rocking. All right. So now we want to put join us every Sunday morning for our live webcast at 9 a.m. The way you do that is you click after your last word, click enter. And you start typing. Join us every Sunday morning for our live webcast on Sunday morning at 9 a.m. for our live webcast. Okay. And then we're going to click on here and I'm going to center it. The way you center it, see these lines? You click that and you click align text center. Nice. To make it bigger, once again, you could highlight it. You could change the size over here. Or you could dial it in with the numbers here. That looks really cool. Let me click update. Let's go ahead and refresh our existing website. There we go. And then we're going to add a button. So let's add a button. The way you add the button is click your last word, enter. And then I want you to click the blue plus button and type in the word button. Okay, click the button that shows up. And there's your button right here. So let's type in. Watch live now. Okay, and we're going to make this center. So click the button. Make sure the box shows up around it. See these lines? Click that. Then you click align center. Boom. And then you click update. Now, to change the color, click the button. See where it says color settings? You click that. Text color, we want white. Background color, we want that yellow, kind of yellow orange. Click update. Okay, to make the letters bold, you could highlight it. Click the B. Boom. And you click update. All right. And then you go to your website. Click refresh. Tell me that's not rocking. That's rocking right there. So right now, we're, we're getting there. We're getting pretty close. All right. So how do we add this text right here? This text right here. Well, you do that is you go down here. See where it says plus? You click that. And I want you to type in the word paragraph. Okay, see how paragraph shows up? You click that. And then I want you to type in welcome to our church website. Now, you can put whatever you want, but I'm just going to put welcome to our church website. You can put the name of your church, however you want to do it. I'm going to bold it. Then I'm going to click Align Text Center, and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to go with large. Okay, that's nice. And click update. All right, and then underneath underneath that, you just go to your last word and you click enter. Okay, and then we're going to start typing. What do they have? The church that is on fire for God. So I'm just going to copy that and paste it. Save a little time. So I'm going to click where I want to type. Right, it's gonna say start typing. I'm gonna paste it. Oops, let me see if I paste it here. So copy and then paste it. Control V, Command V on Mac. Control V on PC. To center it, I'm gonna highlight it, click these lines, click a line text center, and then you can make it big, however you want to do it. Coming over here, like we did the last one, to make it large. I don't like that too big, so I'm going to dial it in a little bit. I'm going to maybe go with 28. Okay, and then I'll click update. Let's go to our website and refresh it. Oh, come on, man. That's rocking. That's nice. Okay, so welcome to our church website, the church that is on fire for God. So now we want to put these images. How do you put these images in there? That's what we want right now. All right, I'm going to show you how to add the three images. 
what you do is you go to the plus right there. I want you to type in the word image. Image column. C O L U M N. And then select that column. And then I want you to select the three column one right here. Select that. All right. And then I want you to click the plus. And I want you to type in the word image. Okay. Boom. Same thing here. Plus. Find image. Select it. Plus. Find image. Select it. Now I'm going to go get some images off my hard drive. Hopefully I'll get the right ones this time. <laughs> I'm going to go grab some images. You can put whatever you want. If you have a good graphic designer, you can put some cool images. I'm just showing you the basics. You can take it to another level. All right. So let me go ahead and grab those images for you. All right. So the first one I'm going to get is our live webcast. All right. I got the right one. Second one I'm going to get is our small groups. And the last one I'm going to get is our podcast. OK, so these are all images, all the same size. OK, then I just click update. And I come over here, click refresh. Let's see. Oh, there's our images. But if you notice, they're kind of crooked. So how do you straighten these images out? Well, how do you make them center? Here we go. You're going to click on it. See right there, these lines, you click that and click align center. Click on your image, click the line, align center. Click your image, click the lines, align center, and click update. Then you go ahead and click refresh. There you go. It's all centered out. Wow, our website is really coming along. Come on, somebody. It is pretty good. And you have done all this for free so far. Everything you've done. Everything you've done on this website has been for free and we are all the way live and I'm teaching you how to build a website for your church from scratch. All right. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the little wording underneath these little wordings right here. Let's put that underneath our images. So the way you do that is you go to your image and then see the little plus you click that. I want you to type in the word paragraph. And then you select that, and then you can type whatever you want. Join us for our live or our live webcast every Sunday morning. Like I said, you can put whatever you want. See, morning, boom, at 9 a.m. Now to center it, you want to highlight it. And then you go to these lines here, click a line text center to bold it. You can click the B. You want to change the size of the font. Same thing. You go over to the right. You can make it normal. You can make it medium. You really want to dial it in. You could do it like that. Oh, I like that. Let's do 22. All right. Same thing with your small groups. So I'm just going to copy this, save a little time. I'm going to paste it right here. So the way you do it is you got plus and then paragraph. And you type whatever you want, but I'm just going to paste what we have over there already. I'm just going to change it up. Uh, join one of our small. Oh, let me just retype it. Let me just retype it. Join us for one of our small groups that meet through. Let me see through out the week okay so this could be your bible studies your small groups then i'm going to highlight it right and then we're going to center it let me just highlight it click the lines and, and click align text center and i'm going to make this one also 22 so it's in you know so it's uniform boom everything's the same size that looks nice go ahead and click update and then we're going to do our podcast so you want to go ahead here click the plus and select paragraph of listen to our weekly podcast where we discuss hot topics and more. Boom, boom, boom. 
All right, so then I'm gonna highlight that, bold it, align text center, and let's make that 22 also, so everything's uniform. And then I'm gonna click update. Then we're gonna click refresh. Let's see how our website's looking. Wow, nice. Now, I don't really like that bold on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bold off. I don't really like it. So let's take that off. Over here, highlight it. I'm going to unbold it. Boom, like this. I'm going to unbold it. Oh, when you click it, it automatically highlights. That's pretty cool. All right, I'm going to click update. I, didn't, I wasn't feeling the bold. It doesn't really, I don't like it. There we go. I like that a lot better. All right, there's our website. Man, that's rocking. And guess what? You've done all this for free. You haven't paid for anything yet. All this has been done for free. All right, next thing we want to do is we want to add links to these images. So basically, when you click this image, it's going to take you to that page. The way you do that is you click the image, right? Now, if you go to your website, here's your pages. Home, blog, contact us, live webcast, podcast, small groups. If you click it, it takes you to the page. There's two ways you can do it. One is you can right click on PC and click copy link address. Another way you could do it is click and actually visit the page and go up here and copy the link. All right. So however you want to do it, but you want to get that link and then you click the picture, click the little chain thing and take that link and you paste it right in that block and you click the arrow. So for small groups, I'm going to go, I'm going to right click on small groups, copy link address. Go back, click on the image, click the link, click paste, and then click the arrow. Same thing with Church Podcast. I'm going to click on it. Okay. And I'm going to go over here, right click on podcast, copy link address, go back, click the image, click the link, paste it in the box, and click the arrow. And then we click update. Now, when we go to our website and we go to our home page, these images are linked to the actual pages. I click live webcast, takes me to the live webcast page. If I click small groups, it takes me to the small groups page. If I go back to the home page, oops, I went to the dashboard, my bad. I go back to the home page and I click church podcast, it takes me to the podcast page. Now, one thing I noticed, I want to show you how to change the order of these here. You notice it says home, blog, contact us, live webcast, podcast, small groups. I'm going to change the order to this. Home, live webcast, blog, small groups, podcast, contact us. How do you do that? You want to go back here and you want to go to your dashboard. Okay, this is your dashboard. I want you to go to appearance and then I want you to click where it says menus. Now, the way you change it is you, here's your menu. You got home, blog. Contact us, live webcast, podcast, small groups. Where you change it is you click and you drag. So let's go home, blog. What's the order? Home, live webcast, blog. Okay, so let's get our live webcast, bring it all the way up and drop. You don't want it to be to the right though, because it'll be a sub menu. You want it to go all the way to the left and it'll say sub item. See, I said sub item, but watch how it switches when I go to the left. See? So you want home. Live webcast, blog, and then what else? Small groups, podcast. So small groups, podcast. So you want to click the podcast, drag it up, and bring it all the way to the left. And then you got contact us. So you click save menu, and that's the order we want. And then we refresh. Now watch our order changes. There it is. Go to your home page. You got home, live, webcast, blog, small groups, podcast, contact us. You go to your contact us page. And you're looking good. Everything's in order. Okay, so that's how you change the order. All right, so let's go back to our homepage. It's looking good. So now what we want to do is we want to add this welcome video. This is a video you can add to your website. When you click it, it plays. That's pretty cool. It could be a welcome video. It could be a shout out from your pastor. It could be a shout out from your newcomers team. It could be a shout out from your PR person saying, hey, thanks for stopping by our website. Feel free to browse around. It could be a testimony video, however you want to do it. OK, but any video you can upload to YouTube, you can put on your website. I'm going to show you how to do that. What you want to do is you want to go to pages, go back to your home page, edit with block editor. OK, you 
you want to scroll down to the bottom of your page. So we're here now, okay? And then I want you to click plus button again, and I want you to click, type in cover. Okay, just like we did earlier, and you click that. Boom. All right, so now I'm going to upload another image. Let's see what image I get this time. Come on, somebody. Let's see. I'm going to go grab an image here. Let me grab this one. Hopefully, this is the right one. I'm going to click update. That's a pretty big image. So it's going to take a little while to upload. Okay. And let's go ahead and click refresh. Okay. So what's going to happen is our image is going to load right here. Once it's done uploading, like I said, it is a pretty big image. So it takes a little while. Okay. Let's see if it's done. Still working on it. Okay. So now, once the image is done, what we want to do is we want to put a video and some typing. Let's see if it's done. Okay, there it is. Let's just use this image. The way you, let me get some water real quick. Hold on one second. All right, the way you add the video and the typing, see this little plus? I mean, the little thing that's blinking here, see that? I want you to go up here and click this blue plus. And I want you to type in the word columns. Select that. And then I want you to select the one that says 3070. Click that. And it's going to give you two columns. Here, I want you to click the plus, And I want you to type in the word video. Keep it there. Boom. Now, here's the cool thing. Once you type in the word video and you select YouTube, you can put any video you want from YouTube. So if I go to YouTube, okay, and I go to my channel, I could grab any video I want. YouTube is free. So I can go grab any video from my channel, upload it. Come on, somebody. And people can watch it. So it even has our live video now that we're live. That's cool. All right. So let me go grab a video. Let me see video here. Uh, you could even set it on private. That way, if you don't want people to see it on your YouTube channel, just your website, you could do it like that. So let me grab this promo video right here. Let me grab, let me grab that one. So once I click the video, let me go ahead and like it. Yeah. Um, you just click where it says share. So this is with any video. Okay. So I'm going to click share. I'm going to click copy. I'm going to cop copy this code. And I'm going to go back to the website. I'm going to take that code and I'm going to paste it right there. Then you click embed. Watch what happens. There's the video. Come on, somebody. Any video. YouTube is free. You can record it on your cell phone. It don't have to be a high-tech video. You can do all kinds of fancy stuff. Just a little simple. And nowadays, the cameras come with HD. I mean, phones come with HD cameras. So you can even do it on your phone. Okay. Then get it uploaded to, you know, upload it to YouTube. You can even upload it to YouTube from your phone. Come on, somebody. And you just get that video and you put it right here. Now to put the typing, you just click the plus. You click paragraph. Right? Paragraph. Type in paragraph. Sorry about that. Let's see. Paragraph. And then you select paragraph. So I'm going to go ahead and get this typing over here. I'm just going to copy this. Okay. So that way I don't have to retype the whole thing. So control C. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to paste it in here with control V. So there's my typing. So anything you want to put, all you have to do is hit the plus and the pair and you, you know you choose paragraph. So then if I want to make it bigger, I'll just highlight it. Right. And then once again, like we did the last one to change the size, you go over here. I'm sorry, let me select the text. All right. So you just click on the text and oh wow, they even I guess they just updated the theme where you click on the text and it automatically highlights it for you. My goodness. All right, so you click the text, it highlights it. That makes it easy. Come over here, click medium if that's the size you want. If you really want to dial it in, you could choose the numbers. Ooh, I like that. Let me go with, let me go a little smaller. Let me see about right. Ah, uh, that's cool. Right there is pretty cool. So I'm going to click update. And then we come over here and we click refresh. So now you got a video with some typing. You know, or you could do it on top of the video. Like if you don't want it on the side over here, you could do it on top of the video. However you feel, if you want the video to go all the way across, however you feel. Or right, let me show you a little secret, which you could do too. If I come here, right, and I and I and I, I want to get rid of this. Let me get rid of that block. Well, well, here's a cool thing you can do. 
You could do like where your video is in the middle and you could put typing on top of the video. So let me show you how to do that real quick. I wasn't going to show you, but let me just show you. So if you like the way I did it there, you could leave it like that. But if you want to do it in the middle, let me show you. I'm going to remove this block. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to remove this block. Right. And then what I'm going to do is I want to hit. Uh, let's get rid of this block, too. Boom. OK, let me see here. Get rid of that block. All right. So now we're, we're starting from scratch again. So what you could do is you hit the plus and then you type in the word column. This is a this is bonus. I wasn't going to show you this. This is bonus. You're going to another level. Okay, you click columns, and then I want. To, oops, how did it go down there? My bad. Let me get rid of that. You want to, you want here. This is where you want your column right here. All right. So there's my columns at. Put your columns in there, and then you select three. Here's the thing. You put this here. Add block video. Right, and then of course I got, already got my code. Same thing. I'm gonna get that code, and I'm gonna drop it in here. I'm gonna click embed. Oh man, okay, I got. I didn't get the code actually to have the other text I copied. So let's do share, copy. You go back, and you're gonna copy that code right in there. You click embed. Now your video is in the center. Now let me show you how you make it bigger or smaller. You click on here. See where it says percentage width. Watch what happens when I slide this. See how my video gets bigger? So I could make this one say 15. Then I come over here, right? And I resize this one to say 15. See how my video is going to the center? Isn't that rocking? So I make that 15. If I want the video to be smaller, I just make these bigger. So I could say, okay, I want the width to be 24 or 25. Then I click this one over here and make that width 25. And see how the video gets smaller? It's nice and plush in the middle. Not rocking. So let's make it 25 and click update. So now your video is right in the middle if you like that better. I kind of like that. Let me see. Let me refresh it. Let me update first. Let's update. Sorry about that one. Okay, now we're going to go refresh our website. Boom. It's right in the middle. That is rocking. So then we could put the typing on top of the video. The way you do that, you just come over, click on the video, click plus, and let's do paragraph, and you start typing. Uh, let me get this text so I don't have to retype everything. Let's copy it. Boom, control C, PC, uh, command C on Mac, I believe. And then I'm just going to paste that text right underneath. Boom. Oh, that's nice. And we're going to make it. A, I like that. I might have to start putting it on top instead of on the side. And we're going to make it medium. Oh, that's really nice. Now, the, the way you move anything up, let's, let's update it first and then I'll show you something. Let's go to update our changes, save our changes. Let's click refresh. Now, we want this text to be on top of the video. OK, how do you do that? To move anything on your website, anything. If you want to move this text, you want to move your images, you want to move the video. When you click it, see these arrows? These arrows allow you to move things up or down. See how I moved up? Because I clicked the arrow. I wanted to go back down, click the arrow. That's all you got to do. Pick it up. Same thing with anything else on your website. You want this right here to go down, just click the arrow. You want it to go up, you click the arrow. So I really like that with the with the writing on the top and the video on the bottom. So let's update that. Let's go ahead and click refresh. And there you go. So you could have a nice welcome video. I'm just going to leave that like that. That's rocking. That's that, that that's rocking. Man, that's a that's a powerful one page website right there. I'm going to still show you how to add five more pages. But that right there is a nice website. That's rocking. And you did it all for free. My goodness. All right, let's go ahead and build our live webcast page. What you do that is you go back. OK, and then I want you to go to pages. And then live webcast and edit with block editor. So now we're going to have a, our own page where people can watch your services. Okay, where they can you could promote your website and say if you want to watch our service online, go to www the on fire church or whatever the name of your church is, and they could watch your church services from YouTube. I'm going to show you how to do it now. All right, so here's our live webcast page. You got to have a YouTube account. Go to your YouTube account. See where it says plus right there. You click go live. Now we are actually live. 
So maybe I'll use our live feed that we're doing right now to go live on my new website. So see how it says we are live? I'm going to click that. Okay, now when, to set up anything live, you just go to this little arrow right here and see where it says copy? You click that. Okay, now if you were to set up a YouTube feed, let me just show you really quick. If you were to set up a feed and you say you didn't want to use something that you're using already, all you have to do, <clears throat> say you want to do something later on on a Sunday morning, you go and you schedule your stream. You schedule your live stream. So you're going to go to where it says schedule stream. You click that. Okay. And then you click create new. And you could say uh, Sunday morning celebration service okay and you want it to be public uh you, you know fill in your description uh say the date is going to be sunday the 11th and your time is say nine in the morning so let's go ahead and put that nine in the morning okay boom and the cool thing is youtube will schedule it for you and no it's not made for kids and then you put create stream now your stream is ready to go live for your Sunday morning celebration service right here. Where is it at? Right. Okay, there it is. Right there. It had to upload. It had to refresh a little bit. Okay. So there it is. Sunday morning celebration service ready to go live October 11, 2020 at 9 a.m. Now, to put this feed on your website, you, I was going to do our live feed, but I'm going to change it because I want to do it so you could actually do what you're going to do. You're not going to put an actual live feed. You're going to probably put a pre-recorded feed. I mean, like a, um, you're going to put a planned live feed. So let's just stick to that. Okay. Um, so what you do now, what you do is you go, you click on your future broadcast. You click the same thing I did earlier is click this arrow and you click copy. Okay. You go back to your live webcast page. You click the plus. And you click the YouTube or video. You take that link and you drop it in there. And you click, you drop it right here in this box and you click embed. Now your Sunday morning service will be ready to go. You click update. And you go to your website. You click refresh. You go to your live webcast page. There's your feed. There's your live feed. It's not live right now. Because you have, you, it's, it's going to tell you it's live in three days. But let me just show you real quick, like I was going to do earlier. Let me get the actual live feed so you can see how it's how it works. So I'm going to get the actual live feed of this live webinar I'm doing right now. I'm going to grab that feed. So let me go there. Let me see if I can grab it. And so then you'll see how it looks. So we're live right now, right? So I'm going to click on that same way we did before. Click the arrow. Click copy. And I'm going to go back to our live webcast page and I'm going to replace this one with our live feed that we're doing right now. So I click embed, I click update. And then the cool thing is when I go to my website and I refresh my page, there's our live webcast. It's, it's actually, here it is. So that's, that's our live feed right now. So when you were if you're broadcasting your service, it's live on your website. Tell me that's not rocking. All right, so let me go back and just change it up to the pre-recorded one. I mean, to the uh, scheduled one. So we go here, grab that. That's cool, no? And you could do this for every Sunday. So here's our schedule. Sunday morning celebration service, October 11th. I'm going to grab, click on it. I'm going to come over here, click this arrow. Click where it says copy. I'm going to go back to my live webcast page. And I'm going to replace this one. With the scheduled one, paste it in the box, click embed, click update. There you go. Let's click refresh and let's visit our live webcast page. Man, that's rocking. So when you broadcast live on YouTube, it's going to show up on your website. And you can get rid of this stuff on the side here if you want. Um, it's up to you. If I'll show you how to get rid of it in case you want to do that. You just go to your page, you click up here in the top, you know. See, go to the right, see where it says sidebar layout. You just click no sidebars like that. 
See, I made it big. Then you click update. And then we go back to our live webcast page, click refresh. And there it is. Wow, that's huge. <laughs> now there's no sidebars. And once again, you could apply that secret I showed you. If you want the video to be in the middle, you could use columns. So you could click the plus and select columns, type in columns. Show you real quick. I'm giving you a lot of bonuses on this one, boy. This is good stuff. You choose the three columns, right? And then you just put your video in the middle. See, you click plus, it's your YouTube video, paste it in there, and you embed it in the middle. Let's take this one out. Okay, so then you make it big as you want. Remember how we did it? Click over here and you resize. So let's click, make sure it's on the column and it's gonna say percentage width. So let's go to about 25. You click this one over here, click column, go to about 25. See how your video gets bigger? You could even make it more bigger. Let's maybe go to 15, okay? You want them to be even, so that's where it's plus. So make them both the same number, the left and the right, 15. Hit update. Now you got a nice big video right in the middle of your page. Come on, that's rocking. And you can write some text at the top, like, you know, welcome to our live webcast. We hope you enjoy it. So the way you do that, you click plus, type in paragraph. Okay, paragraph. Okay. Oops, let me see here. Click the, click the plus. And you write paragraph. paragraph. Okay. Am I spelling it right? Let's see, paragraph. What happened here? Let me see what's happening. Okay, let me just re update. Oh, okay. Okay. My bad. Let me see. Let me click this black one here and then select paragraph. Okay. And you can say, Welcome to our. Live webcast. We hope you enjoy the service. You know, whatever you want to put. I'm just putting something really quick. And you you could uh, bold it, you can center it, click the lines, click the line center. I've showed you that a few times. And then to change the size of the font, you just come over here. We could do medium, uh, we could do large. Ooh, that's nice. And once again, to bring it up, what do we do? Click the arrow. There it is. You click update. Let's go to our live webcast page. Click refresh. There you go. And you can put whatever you want. You can put an image of someone watching the TV. However you want to do it, you can put down here, contact us button. You know, so if you wanted to do that, let me just show you how to do that real quick. Um, so you hit the plus, right? Remember how we add a button? You type in button. Boom button and then you can say contact us or even give you know everyone do it contact us and then i'm going to click the button i'm going to put it in the center so you click the lines line center and i'm going to change the color so let's make the uh color settings let's make the text white and the button green right click update and then you want to link this button to your contact us page you know how to do that, right? You go to your contact us page, you right click, which we haven't built yet, but we'll get there. Copy link, go back to your button, click that, and then you click the link on the button, paste your link in there, click the arrow, you click update. So now if somebody's watching your live webcast and they want to contact you, they click that button and it'll take them to your contact us page where we're going to put a form where they can contact you. That is rocking. You could even put a giving button. You know, maybe you have a service of PayPal or PayFast or whatever your giving service is. You could put the link to your, you can set up a giving page. There's so much you can do. That's rocking. Okay, let's build your blog page. So the way you build your blog page is you go back to your dashboard and you want to go to your uh, appearance. And then you want to, I'm sorry, you want to go to settings. My bad, settings. And then you want to go to reading. Now, remember when we made this blog? I'm going to show you why we did that, okay? So you go to post. 
and this is where your blog is. So see where it says hello world? Trash that. And I want you to click add new. And this is going to be your first blog. So I'm going to call mine my first blog. All right. Now, this is like a you could do testimonies. You could do updates. You could do praise reports. You could do a newsletter. It's your blog. You could do whatever you want. But here's the thing. Write as many blogs as you want, as often as you want, because the more you write, the more Google likes. And the more Google likes, the higher your website ranks in Google. And the higher your website ranks in Google, the more people is going to visit your website. So write as often as you want. See, a lot of churches, they have nice websites, but they don't have a blog. And it's no good. I mean, it's not that it's no good, but having a blog gets you so much more traffic. It's like an online flyer. The more you write, the more blogs you write, the more flyers you're handing out. Okay, so you want to add a blog to your website. So I'm going to put my first blog. That's your title. Then to start writing, you just come down here and you start typing. Hello. And thanks for taking the time to read our blog. Hey, we are featuring a testimony of a young man that has been changed by the by the power of God. Okay, and so you write it out, you write out the blog, you're writing. So I'm just going to copy this and act like it's, you know, more writing. So I'm just going to paste and say I'm writing. Oops, what happened there? Okay, sorry about that. Okay, let's take that out. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this. Okay, say I, I got this and I'm going to copy it. So now I'm writing and I'm just going to keep pasting like I'm actually writing a, you know, a story or a testimony. Just write some more and I, you know, write whatever you want. You could put a picture. Boom. And there you go. You're writing. Now, say I want to add a picture. I just hit plus and then I go to image and I could upload any image I want. Let me just choose any image. Let me just go get an image real quick. Let me, see. Let me get an image of your boy real quick. So say I got it. I want to put an image in my blog. Maybe it's a testimony of someone or you know, revival that you're having at the church. You could put an image of people praising and worshiping, however you want to do it. But say I want to use this image right here. That's your boy. <laughs> Gonna make it a little smaller, right? Now, here's the cool thing. It's in the center now, right? But if I go to these lines and I click a line left, watch what happens to the image. It lines it up for you. Tell me that's not rocking. Come on, somebody. Then I hit publish, publish again. We now have a blog. There it is. Now, if I want to view it, I just go to my blog page, click it. There's our first blog. And to read it, I just click where it says read more. There's the whole blog. There it is. Isn't that cool? Tell me that's not rocking. And if you want to write another blog, just go back to your, to your blog. You know, to your post, click add new. And then you could call this, I'm going to call it my second blog. But once again, you could call it whatever you want. Okay, so let me just type in my second blog. Okay, there's your title. You come down here, you start writing, start typing. Boom, I'm typing. I'm just typing whatever. But of course, you could type what you want. You know, whatever you want to put. So there's my blog. See, I don't want to put an image in this one. I'm going to click publish. To make, now, in order for it to go live, you have to click, click publish. Okay. So let's go to our web. Let's go to our website. Let's go to our blog page. Now we should have two blogs. There it is. If I want to read it, I just click read more. And there's our blog. Tell me that's not rocking. All right. Let's go to our small groups page. Let me show you how to set one of those up. Maybe you have Bible studies throughout the city and you want to get people to, to join your Bible study. Uh, you go to pages and let's go to small groups click edit block content okay and now we are on our small groups page now with the small groups page what i would recommend you to do is click this plus and then type in the word columns okay and select columns and select the three columns okay hit the plus button and type in paragraph and what I want you to do is grab paragraph, put it there. 
and then you can say name. And this could be the name of your small group. You can put the on fire small group. Boom. You can say place one, two, three, four, trekker road. Boom. You can say time every Tuesday at seven o'clock. Um, Contact, you can put contact, let's put contact. Put the phone number, church phone number. 061, 407, oops, 9474, boom. And there's your first small group. And you can highlight the name, make it stand out, bold it, all right? And then say, I, to sit for a sake of time, we're just gonna copy this. And then say we got another small group. I'm gonna click plus paragraph. I'm gonna paste that and then plus paragraph, paste it. Of course, these will be different small groups. Like this one could be the cool small group. Let's put the cool small group. This one could be the exercise small group or whatever, you know, or Bible study. Probably not an exercise Bible study, but it like exercise special group or something. So let's put the best Bible study or whatever. Well, you know, it'd be a custom name. So I'm just making up stuff. I was studying. Of course, your place would change, time and all that would change. And you click update. So if I go to your small groups page, there's your small groups all listed. Isn't that cool? It's rocking. And then you can put a little button to say contact you know, or, you know, uh, to, that'll lead to the contact form. Now, this is a contact number, but you could also put a button that leads to like a, a Google map or, you know, you could put a button to contact you, you know, but that's that's another level. But just to keep it basic, you could just put the, the groups here and then you could say um, you could even leave out these contact numbers and you could just put one main contact number, you know, like say I want to take this out. So I want to take this contact out, right? Let me show you really quick. Boom, take that out. That out. Now say if I wanted information on any small group, instead of putting different contact numbers, you can come down here, you click the plus, click paragraph, and you just start typing for more information and for information on any small group please call and then that way they'll call the same number 061 407 9474 then you can come over here click that boom you can bold it let me highlight it bold it and once again you can change the font size by coming over here let's put it a little bit bigger oh i like that let's go with 25 click update you go to your small groups page, click refresh. There it is. And you know, you line it up. If it's too big, you can always line it up, make the text a little bit smaller. It's, you know, if it's not on the same line. So let's make it 20. Click update, click refresh. There you go. And you can put a picture of people sitting at a Bible study, you know, at the top up here, just like we added a picture to our blog. There's so much you can do, but this is the basic stuff for a small groups page. That looks cool. So imagine this filled up. You know, with 5, 10, 15, 20 small groups, that's rocking. All right, let's do a podcast page and we're almost done. We've got podcasts and contact us. So, to add a podcast page, you need a podcast service. Now, there are a lot of free services out there. I think Spreaker, I mean, um, Anchor is free. Podbean, I think, offers free services for podcasts. All you got to do is Google search and do free podcasts. There's a lot of free services. And then, once you set up your service, I'm a member of Spreaker. So I'm going to go ahead and get my Spreaker, log into my account. Okay. Let me close my YouTube. All right. So I'm going to log in. My details. And the only thing you need is once you set up your podcast, you need what's called your RSS feed. So this is how I get mine. Yours might be a little different. But once you set up your podcast and you can get some for free. You want to get your RSS feed. So here's my RSS feed. See that? Click that. 
I'm going to go up here and get this link and I'm going to copy it. Boom. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to open up my podcast page. So here's this podcast, edit block editor. Okay, so then that's going to open up our podcast page. And I do a podcast every week. It's called the Rise Up Radio segment. So here you could type in welcome to our podcast. We hope you enjoy it and are blessed. You put whatever you want. I'm just putting some really quick in space. Now, what you want to do in order to embed your podcast, you want to hit this plus. I want you to type in RSS right here and click that RSS. This block is going to pop up. Now, when you paste, when you copied your RSS feed from your service, you want to put that link right here. Paste it in there. Click, and then click use URL and your podcast pops up. You click update. That's rocking right there. And you've done all this for free. Okay, you go to your podcast page. There's your podcast. And of course, you could put a picture of somebody preaching. Maybe it's your church services. You know, you could beef it up. I'm just giving you simple stuff that you could do. If you, your creativity, you could take it to a whole nother level. I, want, I don't want to show you all the stuff you could do because we, we could be here for a while. But you could put a picture. Uh, you could write more stuff. You know, welcome to our podcast. Uh, you, you could write more stuff. I just wrote some basic stuff. Now, the cool thing about an RSS feed is whenever I add a new podcast to my podcast here, this is my podcast. Here's all of our shows. When I add a new podcast, it automatically updates, automatically updates. That's what an RSS feed does. So when you record a new podcast, it's going to update on your website. Tell me that's not rocking. All right. Last page is our contact us. I'm going to show you how to put a free contact form. Let me close this. Everything you've done on this website so far has been done for absolutely free. And remember, our goal was this. And right now, on our homepage, I think ours looks a little bit better. <laughs> That's rocking. That's rocking. <clears throat> All right. So let's go ahead and add the uh, contact us page. Let me get some water real quick. Okay. So what we're going to do. Is you want to go to your contact us edit block editor then i want you to go to your browser and i want you to type in jotform.com j-o-t-f-o-r-m.com right and they have a free service where you can see the pricing right here you can get a free form you get five free forms 100 submissions 100 megabyte available space so this is a free service and you're going to have branding because it's free but if you want to get the paid service you can do that too but i'm showing you how to do everything for free f r w -E, e free all right so now i'm going to go ahead and log into my account you go ahead and set up your account once you set it up your free account you're going to have access to a form so let me go ahead and log in and I'm going to show you how to add a contact form to your website. I'm going to go to my forms. I have quite a few, but I'm going to use this contact us one here. So I'm going to click edit form. Okay. You would probably cre use create form because you probably don't have any. All right. And it's going to be empty. It's going to be blank. To add anything, you just go over here where it says add form element. You click the plus. Okay. And then if you want to add a full name, you click, drag, drop. That's it. There's your name thing. I'm going to take this out because I already have one. If you want to add the email, if you want their email, you click, drag, drop. That's all you got to do. I'm going to take it out because I already have it. You want the phone number, whatever you want. You click, drag, and drop it. The way I did this about how did you hear about us is I used uh, multiple choice. Click, drag, drop, and then I just typed in the question. How did you hear about us? Okay, and then I gave the options. Number one, say flyer. Number two, you could say radio. Number three, you could say friend. And number four, you could say other or something. Okay, and then you just, it, it automatically updates as you type it, it automatically saves. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this because I already have one, right? And then it's saved. Now, to get it in your website, now to, here's the cool thing. When you signed up, you signed up with an email. Whenever anybody fills out this form, you get an automatic update to your email of everything they filled out. You'll get their name, their email, their phone number, and how they contacted you. 
and it's going to go straight to your website or not how they contacted you, but how they heard about you. And it goes straight to that email, I should say, that you signed up with. Tell me that's not rocking. OK, so now how do you get this on your website? You go to publish. And see where it says embed, you click there and then you click copy code. And we're going to go back to our contact us form and we're going to click the plus and I want you to type in HTML. See that block? Click that. Now the code that you just copied, this code that you copy, when you copy code, go back to your website and I want you to paste that code right there where it says write HTML. Paste it there. You click update. Now, when we refresh, when we go to our contact us page, watch what happens. There's a nice contact form. That is rocking. Man, that's rocking. Come on, somebody. And you've done all this for free. Okay, so you got a nice home page. That's rocking. Oh, let me link this. Did we link this to our live webcast? We didn't link our button. Let me show you how to do that real quick. The way you link your button to your live webcast is. You go to your home page, edit block editor. You should be able to tell me how to do this because I showed you how to link pages. So we're going to link our live webcast page to the button. How do you do it? Well, click the button, you go to your page, you right click your live webcast, you right click, copy link address, or you could actually visit the page and select your URL, right? Click your button, click the little chain thing. Drop your link right in that little box there. Click the arrow and you click update. Okay, let's go back, click our home page. When we click this button, watch live now, it should take us to our live webcast page. That is rocking. You have built a six page website from scratch. My goodness, you got a home page, you got a live webcast page, you got a blog page. You got a small groups page, you got a podcast page, and you got a contact us page, all for free. Now, you have no excuse not to have a website for your church no more. I just showed you how to get one for free. It is a subdomain, but hey, it's better than not having a website at all. If you have any questions, hit me up, Pastor Dre at PastorDre.com. That's Pastor Dre at PastorDre.com. Don't forget to like the video if you like it. You can subscribe to my channel if this video has been good to you. <laughs> you know, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to my channel. Um, and if you have any questions, send me a personal email. Let me get some water real quick. Hold on. If you have any questions, send me a personal email, Pastor Dre at PastorDre.com. Our goal was this. We worked it. We worked it. This is a nice website. I like it. All for free. Now, here's the deal. Before I get ready to let you go, if your church doesn't have a website, you're outdated. It's like not having a website today is not like it's like not having a church building because we all know the stipulations and some restrictions that have been put on churches. So if people can't visit your church building, how are they going to watch your service? Or you say, I got social media. That's great. But there's too many distractions on social media. And that's one thing I see some churches do is they try to lead people to social media. You want to lead people to your website. Now, you can use social media as an outreach platform to come to your website, but a lot of people are leading people to social media. And if I'm watching you on social media, there's too many distractions. There's too many. But you want to promote on all those social media platforms, stop by our website, visit our live webcast. So then you're pulling people from the social media to your website. And there's a lot of reasons why you want people to watch your live webcast on your website. One is it helps your website to rank higher in Google. Two, when I'm watching your live webcast, I could also check out your small groups. I could click your podcast. I could click your contact form. When I'm watching on social media, you don't have a contact us button. You don't have a podcast button. You don't have a small groups button. Even if you had a giving page, when I'm watching your live webcast on your website, instead of putting contact us, you put give now. I don't have to leave your website. When you're watching it on social media, you have to click a link. The link takes you somewhere else. Then you, it's, it's too much of a hassle. You just go straight here. You're good. You click that give now button and you are ready to roll. I'm still listening to your, your podcast or your, your service, but now I'm able to give. There's so many more things you can do on a website that you cannot do on social media. 
Not only that, the more traffic you get to your website, the higher you're going to rank in Google. The higher you rank in Google, the more traffic you get to your website. The more traffic you get to the website, the more people are hearing your message. Okay. And it, it, don't get me wrong, you know, social media is good if you don't have a website. But now I just showed you how to get a website for free. So use social media to draw people to your church's website. And yes, you promote on there, promote your revivals, promote your website, promote your events on social media, but your flyer should have your website on it, www.theonfirechurch.com. So whatever you promote on social media should lead people to your website. I see a few churches, they say, watch this on YouTube or watch this on this social media platform. And you're missing out on so much benefits if you're not leading them to your website. And I'll close with this. It's like this. Leading people to social media is like leading people to a leased property, a rented property. When you lead people to your website, you're leading people to property that you own. It's your own church building. That's what you want to do. You want to lead people to property you own. Because if your social media accounts get shut down, where are they going to watch you at? But if you own it, if you own your website, you own the property, having a website, it's like owning your own church building nowadays in 2020. Hope this has helped you out. It's your boy, Pastor Dre. If you have any questions, once again, send me an email, Pastor Dre at PastorDre.com. That's Pastor Dre at PastorDre.com. God bless you, family, and thanks for tuning in. God bless.